Hello and welcome to the first LSPEC Sapphire training video. We previously have done several quick tips on Sapphire to help people that are already users um, to answer questions and to do some of the more complex features. What we're starting now is an actual in-depth training video series um, and we'll begin with this one. Uh, we're not going to be going into a lot of in-depth material here. This is going to be an overview and an introduction to PQ SCADA Sapphire. I am using the Enterprise version. Um, if you do not have the Enterprise version, I do recommend purchasing it because it does give you extra features that you would uh, probably find useful. Um, if not, if you're on the Express version, you may find some features that I show are not there. Um, but just kind of pay attention to the ones that are. So when you open Sapphire up, you're going to notice at the very beginning you have several tabs at the top. These are the different pages in Sapphire that allow you to navigate. The Overview, the Power Quality, Investigation, Energy, and System. The System tab, which is where we're currently at, is where you find your data, your meters, any additional servers that you may be connected to and how you configure and set up meters and servers. Um, that is something obviously we will go into in, the, in its own video as it is quite in-depth but I have several that are already set up here so we'll just kind of go by and explore these um, as they are. As you can see I've got a G5 component set up here which is our new multifunctional digital fault recorder. And it gives you all the examples of what you can do to billing for, you know, where you can create your uh, time of use for a new energy module. Uh, you can set up servers, upload line diagrams, create tags. Um, you can check your license. In this case, it does show that it's enterprise. Um, and then, of course, you know your components that you have here. Clicking on each of these components allow you to do more in-depth um, studies, configurations, uh, change your your settings on your queries where you can change, you know, if you have your PTs or CTs incorrect, you can set them up. Uh, you can go and you can do your compliance. You can do physical channels, auxiliary channels, virtual channels. You can add to it the IEEE 519 reports. And like I said, this is a whole lot, but we're going to go over this um, in detail in its own video. This is just kind of an overview for you. Also, you have a calendar, which is where you can do scheduling for reports, scheduling for data exports. And the little gear here, which is kind of your um, settings features. It allows you to go in and... Um, upgrade your license, tells you what version of PQ SCADA you're on, uh, manage users and group settings, and your client settings, which are everything from the color of your, your lines on your graphs um, to a little bit more in-depth settings there. Um, currently, we are on 1.04.29 as the current release version. When there is a new release version, this little cog up here will turn yellow to let you know that there is something to download. Okay, the next tab, we're going to go over here and look at the overview tab. This is designed and set up for you to have an overview of your system. Um, that includes multiple states, multiple countries, or multiple facilities in your own district if you're, if you're like a utility customer. Um, if you're an industrial customer, you can also upload line diagrams for your facility and attach data to the CAD components in that drawing. And that would allow you then um, to look at your facility and see everything in a single line. On the power quality tab, this is where we get our power quality data. Um, this would be anything you set up under the system tab. In this case, we've got a 519 report um, showing for compliance. We generate report. It will print it out to a PDF file, and we can email it, share it, whatever we want to do with it. 
and our events tab and there were no events but um, if there was there would be different events showing up down here that you can click on and they will start um, an investigation um, investigation is what is referenced to in the software um, as your investigation into your files your folder your data your events um, kind of the overall this is where you start at here is how you begin your investigations and there's several ways to do it you can click start new investigation which will take you through the process of creating one from scratch you can drag files over to create a new investigation so if you hook your meter up you can just drag the files right on the folder um, or if you have a component already attached such as a meter here then you can drag the files onto here and attach them to that component so you will always have the data attached to that one component and last we have our new energy module we go down here and look at one that's configured and has some some energy showing up on it um, this just came out with the last version and this allows you to create uh, time of use tariffs basically um, for you can do consumption you can do um, fixed rates you can do um, pretty much everything you build it and attach it to a component and then you can come in here and look at your energy usage of that particular meter or you know this could be your facility and I just change this over here to shift so this is your your consumption per shift okay um, the energy module is very new and it's going to have probably several videos dedicated to it um, plus some quick tips once we get everything up and running so that is basically an overview of sapphire our next videos are going to start going more in depth um, how to set up your your server how to attach components um, how to start investigations, how to save uh, a template so you don't have to go through the process as much, um, how to set up your power quality tab, scheduling of different data events. Um, so there, there's quite a few uh, videos that will be coming later this year. Um, this is just kind of get your feet wet and, uh, and go over it. So um, thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and connect with us on LinkedIn. Thank you and have a great day.